What's happening ladies and gentlemen, Connor Rhodes from Swan Society, welcome back to another 10 minute tips, lovely to see you again. Today I've got a little bit of a continuation on from yesterday's video, we're talking about perspective once again, I'm here to help you with positive perspective and I've got a really important reminder for you today and I use that word specifically reminder because like most things that I talk about on these videos, I'm not really teaching you things that you don't already know. I'm reminding you again and again of what you already know, of what you know is right and what you need to do until eventually you accept it and then we can get started and we can get moving or at least you can, even if you choose not to come with me. <laughs> as long as you're moving forward positively in your life to where you want to be, that's good and that means that we're on the right track, doesn't it? So what's today's important perspective reminder? It's that fat loss, while it is simple, that doesn't make it easy. I know that you know what you have to do. Do you know how many people come to me and say, Connor, I know what I should do or I know what I need to be doing, I just can't do it. It's only everyone, <laughs> it's only every single person because just because something's simple, just because it's easy to talk about or it's got basics, you know, in terms of biology, that doesn't mean in practicality and reality that it's actually easy to do. Fat loss, simple, just have a calorie deficit. That's it, those two, literally those two words, calorie deficit. Or you could say, eat less, move more. Or eat healthier, you could even just stick with eat less. You don't even technically have to move more if you don't want to, true. All right then, I mean, but that doesn't help you, does it? That's like saying to someone, save money, isn't it? Or how do you become a millionaire? I'll tell you, so simple, so simple. You have to, this is true, ready? How do you become a millionaire? You have to make 1,000 pound, 1,000 times. That's the game. <laughs> and then you're a millionaire. Sounds simple, doesn't it? Try it though. <laughs> Try it though. <laughs> it's a different game, isn't it? It's a different game. Literally, just because it's simple does not mean it's easy. Just because it's easy to understand doesn't mean that it's easy to do. It's yes, okay, you've got to eat less calories. Okay, it'd be good if you burned a few more, but how are you actually going to do that? How are you actually going to fit that into your life? You already know what you've got to do. This is not what I do. I don't teach people what to do. I help them actually do it. That's actually my job. We actually get the job done. I actually help people fit these things into their lifestyle. I help them search for and make the correct small changes to adjust what they need to adjust, what they personally need to adjust to be who and where they want to be so and help them fit it into their lifestyle, you know, so that they can actually get the job done and keep the job done. So my first point of perspective really is that if you struggle with fat loss, like I said on yesterday's video, don't feel bad about it. Everybody struggles, including me, literally. E every single person finds it difficult. Just because you know what to do, that's not the same thing as actually doing it, okay? You know how to do a lot of things. <laughs> but putting them into practice and place over and over again, especially when it comes to fat loss, fitness and food, it's a difficult game. You already know, you've already played it, you've already tried, we all have. We've all tried different fat loss programs, haven't we? You know, I know that you already know what to do but it's doing it. So if you're struggling, don't feel bad. That just adds fuel to the negative fire, doesn't it? You're just beating yourself up for no reason. It's getting you nowhere. My second point of perspective is, you know, if you need support, do not feel bad about this either. This is also completely normal. This is actually, support is actually a prerequisite to success, which I'm gonna to explain to you in a second. But people come to me again and they feel, I don't know what the correct word is. It's not, maybe it's ashamed, maybe it's not. Maybe it's a little bit bad or a little bit negative. Maybe those are not the exact correct words I'm looking for, but they feel a little bit negative in some way towards the fact that they actually need support and are having to reach out for help because you feel like you should be Superman or Superwoman or super them, they or zim or zer, shouldn't you? Whatever you wanna be these days, super in your own way, <laughs> isn't it? You feel like I should have all this under control. I already know what to do. Why can't I do it? I must not be good enough. There must be something wrong with me. I already know what to do. So I should have a handle on this. I should have a control over every single thing in my life. A lot of people come to see me and they have control over lots of things in their life. Excellent family, good relationships, excellent at business, but just that food thing, just elusive. They just can't get that one thing under control. And that plays with people's minds sometimes because they don't understand why they're winning in so many areas, but just not that specific one. It's normal. Honestly, it's normal. Everybody needs support. In fact, my point of this video, I'll start coming around to some kind of conclusion now, is that you actually need, and this is, this is proven by science, this is not my opinion, this is not my opinion. You actually need three things to make any, this is not even to do with fat loss or weight management necessarily, but it's similar practices and principles for success bleed across all areas in life. You actually need three things 
to make any long lasting change in your life. There are three prerequisites, three tools, three requirements of success. This is for relationships, business, career, fat loss, weight management, health. You need three things. And scientists have used kind of a bit silly words in my opinion. In some, in some ways, to try and make a cute little acronym, to try and make it, again, seem simple. The acronym is ABC. It's the ABCs of success. So what do these stand for? The A stands for autonomy. And Okay, what does autonomy mean? Kind of a strange word. Well, it means that you need control over your own goals. Whether it's your finances, your business, your relationship, your family, your health, your food, you need control over your own goals and things that you want to achieve. If you outsource them to somebody else, you're gonna get what they want you to get, not what you want, okay? If you outsource your food to somebody else, if somebody's already always deciding what you eat or what your calories are, you know, how are you supposed to control them? You can't. If somebody's controlling how much you get paid and what you spend on what, how are you supposed to save money? You can't, you need control over your own goals. This is the same thing when it comes with health. It's your health, it's your body weight, it's your life, it's your future. Other people can help you and should help you. I'm gonna move on to that in a second. But at the end of the day, it's down to you. You need to accept this and then we can actually get started from the correct position, can't we? Autonomy, A, that's number one. B is for belonging. So while you need control over it, belonging, that's support, that's community, it's teammates, it's teachers, mentors, tutors, it's peers, colleagues, it's no man or woman is an island. That's what it is. It's everything that you have ever learned, you learn from somebody else, including how to understand the words that I'm saying <laughs> to you right now. Even if it weren't, you weren't taught directly, you learned from other people by copying, didn't you? Every single thing. Do you think fat loss is gonna be any different? Let's not play games. Everybody needs support. You can't find anybody that's achieved anything huge or big in life without a teacher, a mentor, a tutor, or at least peers, colleagues, friends, or family. Can you? There's not a single example of success. A, autonomy is that means you need to be having, you need control over your goal. You need to be doing it. But B, belonging, that means you're not doing it alone. While you have control, you have support in that control. And what is C? C is, is um, competence. Competence means education or skill, essentially because you can't do it, you can't do it on your own, even with support, if you don't know what you're doing, essentially can you do. And for fat loss and weight management, like we've already said, the competence part's quite small. It's quite small, the education part's quite small, what you have to actually have to do. You already know how to lose weight, probably you know 15 different ways of losing weight. You've tried 15 different fat loss programs before, haven't you? You don't need to know more about what to do. You might need to know a little bit more about how you're actually gonna do it, and you might need support through that, the A and B are bigger parts when it comes to fat loss and weight management than the C, but competence and education, it's still there. It's why I make these videos. It's why I make extra videos for the Six Steps to Slim members and write articles and we've got essays and we've got lectures and lecture notes and a full education lecture system for people to go through for mindfulness and for motivation and for education. For It's necessary as well. It might be a smaller part in this specific instance with this specific goal, but it's still a part. Those are your ABCs of success. This has nothing to do with you. This is everyone. If you're feeling bad because you need the ABCs of success, you've got the wrong perspective. You need to take control. You need support. Don't feel bad about needing support. You need support. You can't do it alone. This is why everybody joins so many different programs. It's why people go back to Slimming World 15 times, even though they don't like it or want to. Because they can't do it alone. They know they need something. There's different options. And that's up to people, isn't it? And that's up to you too. But you need support, whether it's friends, family, professional support. You might need a little bit of education, sometimes not in what to do, but sometimes in how to actually do it. Sometimes it even just comes in a little bit of form of external perspective, just to help you a little bit of outsider motivation or information, isn't it? Don't feel bad if you struggle, don't feel bad if you need support. Make sure you're fulfilling your, for yourself the ABCs of success. Thank you so much. If you want help doing this, of course, contact me. Contact me through this page, leave on a comment. If you liked the video, give it a, a double tap or hit that like button, give it a little thumbs up for me. Make sure you follow the page to stay in touch if you want to know who we are and how we can help you. If you want the ABCs fulfilled for you because we give you autonomy over your own goals by letting you pick your own goals and calorie targets and calorie ranges and additional targets on the Six Steps to Slim program. We support you through professional support and community. Um, as well and we've got a full education system so we're there to help you and there to support you if and when you need it. Thank you so much. I'll speak to you and I'll see you again soon.